So good to be able to talk with you. I'm Alan Lee. I'm the superintendent. Most of you know me, and I've met many of you. But I wanted to talk with you about something that's critically important to all of us, and that's the progress that we're making in Baldwin County and our schools. Each one of you are involved in the most critical, important work that there is, and that's helping kids learn and become citizens in our world. And here in Baldwin County, we're doing that like no place else. You guys with limited resources have created a school system that has promise, promise for every child to get a good education and to be able to go on and do things that they want to do in their lives. And I want to talk to you about that progress and how it should continue. On a daily basis, I meet people who tell me how wonderful Baldwin County schools are. Just this morning, coming into this building, I talked to a parent who told me the only reason that she and her family moved here was because of the reputation of Baldwin County schools. That reputation doesn't come from me, it comes from you and what you accomplish. Two days ago, I was with a group of national leaders in education, and Baldwin County is known all across this country as being a great place for kids. On November 6th, we've got a challenge coming to us, and that challenge is to be sure that the one cent sales tax gets passed. Should it not get passed, we'll see some dire things happen in our county, and you and I just can't let that happen. We've got to continue the progress. The progress that's been made, even though we've been very economically oriented, the PARCA organization has said we're one of the most efficient school systems in the state, and we're doing things that nobody else is doing. You guys are innovators, you're creators, and as I said at our opening meeting, it's okay to innovate, it's okay to try things and fail, and I hope that your principals are encouraging you to do new and creative things. But if we're going to continue the progress that we've had over the last few years, where we have children that are competing nationally and winning, where we have children graduating and going to the best universities in the nation, where we have children who are going into the military and job field well prepared, if we continue that progress, we need to pass the one cent sales tax. And I'm asking for your help. You need to go and speak to everyone you know about the economy that we have put into place in this county and the things that we're accomplishing. For instance, Mobile County has twice the, the tax on their property that we do. Hoover has five times the tax, and yet our schools are as good as any schools in this state, and ultimately will be the best schools in this nation. So we need to tell people that story. We need to talk about the parent who talked to me about Foley Intermediate School, where she went into the office and people bent over backwards to help her. We need to talk about the bus drivers who constantly are taking care of kids. A bus driver from Magnolia School who turned around and drove miles back to get a child where they needed to be, even though the parent was confused about where that was. We've got people doing everything they can to help our children and to make sure our schools are good. And I'm going to rely on you to get out and get that good word out to people to have them vote yes on November 6th. I also have to tell you that tomorrow I'm going to release a list of proposed cuts. The board has not approved these, but we've been working for weeks now trying to identify what happens if that $26 million should go away. That list is only going to represent 75% of the necessary reductions that we would have to go through. I hope you'll look at that list and realize that it's just planning for a future that I don't think we're going to have. I know we're going to get this tax passed, I know we're going to continue the progress, and I know people are going to continue to talk about Baldwin County Schools and what a great place it is for their children. I hope you have a good rest of the week and I hope you have a great weekend and let's join together and get this one cent sales tax on the road. Thank you.